Hey, welcome to the channel. I'm Seth, and this is Stranger Things Season 2, Chapter 2, entitled Trick or Treat Freak. I think if someone's gonna have a bad night of trick or treating, is uh. Thoughts on the last one or on the back half of there? Just watch the first one, watching the second one now, immediately afterwards. Back in the town, Mad Max is running around. The boys seem interested slash intrigued by her. It's Halloween coming up now, I think today, I guess, because it says trick or treat. And uh, yeah, I guess things are going to get uh, wilder and crazier. So friendly reminder, if I talk over stuff, I'll probably see it in the edit. Hopefully it doesn't have any long term repercussions, but I don't want to pause the video. I don't like taking pauses to speak. And uh, I understand talking over shit. <laughs> Alright, don't really have a lot to say. Didn't edit the last one yet, so I don't have more information yet, or haven't nothing's been revealed to me, or I haven't caught up on anything that I've missed yet, so no more stalling, no more rambling. Let's just get into this. Stranger Things Season 2, Episode 2, entitled Chapter 2, Trick or Treat Freak. Here we go. Volume still? Yes. Oh. Season 1, end cap, okay. Oh, we're going right back to then, okay. I can't tell how much of this is CGI and how much of it is practical, so they're doing a good job. I thought the entrance that they... The first entrance went into the woods, though. So is this a different entrance? Flashlights on the end of guns. It looked like a cop uniform. It didn't look like I saw the bridge of the hat. It didn't look like military or security. I wonder what they saw from there. Okay, so there, there was something on the outside. It's like a very Matrix vibes because the short hair and coming out of the red goo is kind of like the pods. Sorry, I'm not saying much. Just a... Uh, it's a 11. Alright, so she's spit back out into the world. Oh, right, they were at the school when she fought the Demigorgon, which is why she's in the upside down of the school now. It took me, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. See, I can either leave in dumb shit that I said, and then leave in me correcting it, or I can cut dumb shit out. No, no, but I have to cut this out, too. It looked like cardboard cutouts with just blue lights on top. This is top secret. Understood. <laughs> we're all patriots in this house. I don't know where she is. But and even if I did, I'd never tell you. There you have it. Never. Otherwise, you're putting yourself and your entire family at risk. Don't look too hard. No. Their eye lines didn't match. His eye line and the adult eye lines didn't match. Didn't match. Continuity error. Unwatchable. Maybe they were big windows, and I'm, I'm you know, we'll see, we'll see. Looked like a huge tree. This is a little tiny face sticking out. Again, I love the soundtrack so far. I do this even if I wouldn't be recording, I'd be doing dumb shit, so I don't want to hear it. Like everyone else, we're, we're so original on YouTube. We're so good at just, we're whores. And I can say that because I don't have anything monetized. Whores, we're all whores. We're already getting your time and attention. We want your money too. We're whores. Off the backs of other work that we didn't make. That's a very Lydia Dietz, uh, uh, Beetlejuice type sheet with the which which we're known to write ever since. Even though this is eleven, she'll she'll be in disguise. I don't care. We don't take risks. All right. Yeah, someone could hear her voice and recognize it and be like, "What?" And I buy us a bunch of candy and we can sit around and get fat and watch a scary movie together. Not good enough. No, she wants out. Compromise. It's something that's kind of in between. It's like halfway half. Politicians compromise. She was very particular about the times in the last episode, and now this time as well. Oh, is that because she's literally just alone and bored? Oh, this is before the internet. God damn. I mean, they have a TV at least, right? Books? <laughs> Elon, if you want to send people to Mars on a one-way thing and don't know how to... Just send video gamers. We're, we're fine. We just need a screen. What? Where's Will? Oh, he's he's in the upside down again. <laughs> what are you doing? Peeing? 
Weirdo. Oh, yeah. That's like Xenomorph Cthulhu. Slender Man and an octopus had a baby. And Is this loop a copyright? Or does it have to get into the lyrics? Or the bridge? Or it has to break down. There it is. So? Hey, hey, hey. Look, you can cosplay as dress up as anyone in my mind, but, uh... But yeah, but he's but he is black. He is black. I mean, is Max not on the bus? Why is no one else wearing costumes? Everyone dressed up last year. It's a conspiracy. I'm telling you. <laughs> Be cool. Oh, smitten. Not right now. We look like morons. Maybe she likes Ghostbusters. Of course she likes Ghostbusters. Yeah, duh. We have no choice. We gotta do this. She, are you the ghost of some dead girl? Ah. <laughs> You gotta do something. We could ask her after class. Yep. It's like even if you get shot down by a girl, fucking you blow it or whatever. You're on the radar. It's a negative ping, but it's better than. Why would he lie to me? Maybe, maybe not. Like they're real. Yeah, because they're not nightmares. They're flashbacks. I know a couple guys who have had these things, and it feels like you're there. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta try to be calm for him, because he's got it worse than you do. In time. It's that whole healing process thing, where like, the scar on the bark of a tree, the scar never goes away, but as the tree grows, the scar is the same size, but it becomes less of the tree, overall, so. I'm dating Samwise, I, I'm sorry. I'm not one of those people who just ships everyone who's on a fucking scene together. I believe things can be platonic and friendly. <laughs> I realize we're all boners out here running around, but, uh... What? So casual. Like it's a beaded doorway, just, oh, excuse me, let me... Yeah, can you... How's it looking out there, cowboy? They have footage. They can transmit back? It's got to be on a tether. It's not a wireless signal. Not a chance. Although they could communicate through the lights and shit and before and on the phone, so maybe there is. There is. We're back on. Damn! Don't you hate it? Are number two pencils still a thing? Is graphite A B C D? What the fuck were those things called? Scantrons or? Oh my god, that's a World War II book, set, set, of, set of books. My, my dad used to have that set of books. What are you talking about? Barbara. It's like, everyone forgot. It's like, nobody cared. I'm, la I'm laughing because this is kind of, I'm seeing Jill from The Leftovers. Kind of, kind of in the same place. <laughs> I know we know that Barb's dead, but I don't remember if they found and confirmed she was dead. You just pretend. Like we're stupid teenagers, okay? Sounds like she's been pretending a lot, though. That's kind of the problem. Alright, where are the boys? They're usually in the background somewhere. Wow, foreground! I'm Dustin, and th this is... Lucas. Yeah, I know. The stalkers. So many bullets. Oh, those are rubber band guns. I have that rubber band gun. Is that why you're wearing proton packs? Well, these... So you probably don't have any friends to take you trick-or-treating. And you're scared of bullies, so, uh... uh. Presumptuous of you. What, you don't want candy? Yeah. <laughs> yes, it, yes, it is. That was a smirk turn. That was a that was a smirk turn. We'll see her. Yes. <laughs> is the Terminator? Is this days of our lives. Sounded like a chipmunk squirrel type deal. Little, 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 little guy. Can't do it right now. Alright, it's real. We have a squirrel handler. I want to see it in the credits. Can't trust wild animals for shit. Yeah, that's a trained professional. I hope he was insured. Did she even skin it? Like, it's just a... She's not supposed to leave the house at all, right? What are you doing out here in the cold? You that Russian girl. Oh, got the jacket and the hat. Nice move. That is that why someone said the Russian girl? 
Because she's running around with a red cap on. You see these hands? Yeah. You know why they look like that? Because you're old. You damn straight. <laughs> Omero didn't just hit me last night. He hit damn near everyone. What are you talking about? What? Well, Jack O'Dell. Pete Freeling, Rick Neary, the, the, the Christiansons. All of their crops. Dead. Just we're stuck here. Mm. So. You're right. Mm, why is that? We're stuck here. And whose fault is that? I'm not gonna jump when he yells. Yeah, I'm not. I was getting a uh, "Am I not merciful?" vibes from a uh, Quintus. Yeah, you're blaming her for y'all being trapped there, but uh, if you kill some kids with your car, you're gonna be in jail. So, the same way. Now, you trying to tell me with a straight face? Cole did this. Are those maggots or something crawling around on the sap? Yeah, you probably shouldn't have done that. Or lose the glove. Bare handing that shit. Copy that, Chief. There's being curious and there's being stupid. Yellow might be a bad color in the woods. You're not going to see it that well against leaves and foliage, especially in the fall. Browns and golds. If you get a bad feeling or anything, you just tell him to take him okay. straight home. Hey, hey, stop, stop treating him that way. Just, just say, hey, have a good time. Get out of here. Hope the gods and suck. There's a fine line between puns and dad jokes. I mean, I can't even go trick or treating by myself. It's lame. Sure, you can. He's gonna let him. You think I'm lame? He gonna do it. Let him free. Big brother time. You know it. I hope this doesn't backfire on him. Oh. I kind of think he did it for the brother and decided to go to the bash. I don't think the bash was the primary, uh, you know, the goal. This guy with his Cobra Kai future. <laughs> Yeah, that guy's gonna have liver and or diabetes problems. I see it. She didn't drip any of it on her white. That's good. And we'll see her at the award show when, when the Stranger Things won and she was on stage. She was either drunk or high on something. We already celebrated Stranger Things, but this award from you who take your craft seriously and earnestly believe, like me, that great acting can change the world is a call to arms from our fellow craftsmen and women to go deeper and through our art to battle against fear, self-centeredness. There's a Radio Shack nearby. I'm sure they take me on. Radio Shack. There's an ex expiration date on that job, sir. Oh, wow. Wow. He probably likes Milky Ways, too. And you? Who screams like that? You sound like a little girl. Coming or not. Right. You wanted trouble, you got it, boys. There we go again with this like maggot tree or fucking crawly do. What's going on? You did. Yeah, you got me, kid. Give me some of that candy. Oh shit, yeah, he was gonna take it to eleven. Light. Oh, this is back in the past. Right, right, right. That's why she killed the squirrel. She was eating it. That's why she attacked the guy and took his clothes, because she was on the run. Well, you're not rich, right? <laughs> I love old Cherry Road. Oh. No, it's fine. I mean, the street's good for skating. <laughs> what? To her. It was a democracy, three to one. Whoa, dude! What? Just cause? What? Wait. I, look, I know he misses eleven, but that's that's a little fucked up. Oh no! Are we dropping the camera in the upside down, and then when we come back to the normal, it won't be there? Cthulhu rises. God damn. 
He's like a smoke monster, tornado finger man. Will, what's wrong? I couldn't find you. Are you, are you hurt? Keep trick or treating. I'm bored, anyways. Huh. What's wrong with him? Ah, he disappeared into some weird void and was kidnapped by the underside and. Huh? Nice costume. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm going as a guy who hates parties. <laughs> I'm Samantha. Uh, Jonathan. That was quick. Okay. So, drunk white bitch alert. This song is about me. Now she looks like a tampon. Uh, that's not gonna. You're bullshit. What? You're you're pretending like like everything is okay. Like there's not. Bullshit. You don't love me? Yeah, you don't Bullshit. you don't confront a drunk person with those sort of questions. Don't swoop in, don't don't do it. You're always such a nice guy. You know on um a viewmaster when it gets like caught between two slides? Yeah, yeah, like that. Like like one side is our world and and the other the other slide is the upside down. I'm glad they didn't cry, but they both got a little, a little, uh, a little puffed, a little teary, you know. So, oh, he took her home. Okay, he probably found her passed out in the bathroom. Okay, good guy, Jonathan. Decent, decent human being. But, but people are like, I'm a good guy. I'm a good. It's like, no, you're being a decent human being is the fucking entry level. Okay, like that's that's zero. You're starting at zero by being decent. Don't don't get caught at taking too much off of her. I trust your intentions, but I was never here. Oh no! I just realized this cabin kind of reminds me of in Dark, the cabin in the woods where the cellar is. Yeah, super late. Is she in there? I can't open up. All right. Look, I I know I'm late. But she turned the bolt and fucking sprint away. How? Very unhealthy to leave me out here. <laughs> I can't control heart attack or something. I can't control myself. But you're not stopping me. You know, you do what you want. Bandana over the eyes? Okay, Neo. Okay, Illidan Storm Rage. Okay, Ganicus. He we heard her speak to him through there in the last episode we thought for a brief moment. Please. Give me a sign. Yeah. Boo! <laughs> Whenever I go into a Wegmans, which isn't often, I kind of feel like, like this, there's this other layer I can't see, and behind that, there's all this evil shit going on. It doesn't make sense, it's a silly thing, but I just don't trust Wegmans for no reason at all. Like, if I had the glasses from They Live, I'd be able to put them on and see what's really going on. Cool, Work it out, Dustin. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. right, it was, it was the Oscar the Grouch. I do have the rubber band gun though, they've modified it. <laughs> then you get rabies after it bites you. Holy sh Can they do that? Are, are you allowed to, to fucking end an episode like that? I'm not sure. <laughs> Copyrighted music. Copyright strikes. Copyright strike, I don't want them, cause the channel will die, I don't want that to happen again. I should stop this intro, outro, reaction. Season 2, episode 2, chapter 2, trick or treat, freak. I'm stuck on that cliffhanger ending of, at least if something would have jumped out and then they would have cut, I would have been like, okay, it's, it's, it's bad in nature, it's, it's gonna threaten our boy Dusty. Or, or, or just some sort of reveal or tip over into it, seeing that it was a baby animal, or nothing, or a void, or, you know, just... You don't have to explain it, but we have to know what it is would be great for me. Ugh, there are shows like The Expanse, Dark, and The Leftovers, where when I finish an episode, it's like... You're killing me. Like, they just end them on cliffhangers or reveals, mind fucks, and then they just like, okay, bye. Ignoring that, uh, 
end sequence with the trash can and Dustin. There was a lot here. It's all fresh to me. Yes, it was good seeing how Eleven escaped, per se. Yeah, escaped at the end of the first season and her path into the woods and, you know, the guy finding her and now she's in the cabin, that sort of thing. So we're caught up to speed there. Why Why was no one dressed up for Halloween? If, if everyone last year did it, why didn't anyone do it? This year, was that ever explained? Was that just, did someone plot against them? You know, was it a conspiracy? Or were they off? Or were they, how, did they, how did they not get that memo? That seems very crazy to me that they wouldn't have talked to anyone else about anything. Or, or what are y'all doing? Or like, like, those are the only people they talk to is their friend circle. I don't know. Yeah, the pumpkins and the rot, that's, that's getting deeper. It's going into the woods. It's happening in more places. Wonder if that has anything, any relation to the shadow monster, because as big as that thing was, that, that could cover ground, and maybe, I'm sure they'll draw it out or map out where this rod is, and it'll look like something or reveal a pattern, but we're not there yet. Yeah, Nancy being a dick to Steve, I'm not happy with that. I mean, I know she's going through a lot, plus she's drunk, but that's no excuse to be a dickhead to people. Uh, Jonathan got her home, though, so that was good for her. Mike and Will both thinking that uh, <laughs> they got problems and they're losing their minds. Eleven running around in the background, though they don't know it. Mad Max, still uh, the boy's infatuation with her. I don't mind it. I, I just wondering, when she talked with her brother, it's like, we're trapped here. It's like, are they criminals on the run? Do they not have a family? Like, where? She said what street they lived on, but I don't know what part of town that is. I, I, I take it to be a bad part. I don't know what it looks like, but she said the streets were good for uh, skateboarding, so I'm sure we'll see. Yeah, uh, this one, like the last one, was a lot of fun, and I look forward to episode three, but I'm going to have to watch that another day because that does it for me for now. Just watch these two. I think I'm going to call it here, so thank you all so much for watching. I look forward to getting these edited and up in a uh, favorable time frame, and I hope that you'll enjoy them as well as other shows that I'm making little reactions to so anyway no more rambling thanks for being here hope to see you again and goodbye